Hi, my name is Chris Dillinger and I represent GPM Hydraulic Consulting, uh, the nation's leader in hydraulic training, troubleshooting, and reliability assessments. Today I want to talk about uh, cavitation and aeration, the difference between the two, and how we can uh, fix the problem. Uh, cavitation is the formation and collapse of air cavities in the liquid. When the pump's calling for a certain amount of oil, but it's just not getting it, that causes the pump to cavitate. Uh, cavitation makes a high-pitched whining sound. What you're hearing is the air, uh, that little bit of air that is in the oil. You hear it being pulled out of the oil and imploding on the inside of the pump. There are three reasons, uh, well, three of the most common reasons that a pump cavitates is one, the oil viscosity is too high, which means that the oil is too cold. Uh, the oil is colder than the manufacturer's recommended viscosity, which is going to cause the pump to cavitate. The electric motor is driving the pump at a higher RPM than the manufacturer rating of the pump, it will also cause it to cavitate. And the number one reason that a pump cavitates is because of a plugged suction filter or strainer. Suction strainers are usually uh, mounted beneath oil level. They're usually in the reservoir and they're out of sight and out of mind. If a suction strainer gets plugged up, it will cause a reduced flow to the suction line and into the pump causing the pump to cavitate. Now that is the number one reason why pumps cavitate. Aeration, uh, very similar to cavitation, but aeration is different. Aeration is basically air getting into the suction side of the pump. Aeration has more of a erratic high pitch sound compared to cavitation which has more of a steady high pitch whining sound. Uh, it kind of sounds like uh, marbles or, or bolts rolling around in the pump. And what you're hearing is just uh, the air inside being pulled in through the suction side of the pump. Aeration causes foaming in the reservoir uh, and over time will eventually destroy the pump. One reason that you might have aeration is because of an air leak in the suction side of the pump. Uh, if you do have an air leak in the suction side of the pump, what you can do is get you a squirt bottle of oil and spray it on fittings uh, on the suction side and when you hear the sound go away momentarily then you could usually pinpoint where that air leak is at. A fluid level being too low. If you don't have enough fluid in the reservoir uh, what will happen is kind of like the water in your bathtub. When the water in the bathtub, when the bathtub is full of course, you don't see a vortex as it's being drained, but once it gets down low enough, it creates a vortex, and then you can hear the air being pulled in you know, with the water in the tub. Same thing happens with hydraulics. In the reservoir, it will create a vortex of the suction side, and then the air will be pulled in. The most common reasons of aeration are an improper installation, not having the coupling aligned properly will cause the pump to aerate. Another improper installation would be a wrong shaft rotation. Most pumps should have an arrow that indicates the direction of rotation. Your drive motor needs to be turning the same direction as your pump shaft. If it's not, it will cause it to aerate. Right, if you found this tip helpful, visit us at gpmhydraulic.com for more training tips and to learn about our two-part training system.